Okay, so again, um, the boundary conditions are that, that the wave function at x equals 0 and the wave function at x equals L have to be equal to 0, and that's because that's where the uh, potential energy goes to infinity, which means that the particle uh, is forbidden uh, and the, from that region, which means that the wave function must be 0 at, that lo at those locations. Okay, so if we use the the uh, the uh, uh, boundary condition at x equals zero, psi of zero, that must be equal to zero. Okay, so psi of zero is equal to zero, and that means that a sine of zero, okay, x plus b cosine of zero must be equal to zero. And since cosine of um, cosine of zero is equal to one, then this is equivalent to the uh, this boundary condition basically tells us that the inner, that this constant b is equal to zero. Okay, that just leaves us with now this one term. Okay, so now if we apply the other boundary condition, that is at x equals l, psi of l is equal to zero. Okay, and so this tells us that uh, this will give us um, particular constraints on sine of kl. We we should note that there's two ways for this wave function to be equal to zero. That is, a can be equal to zero, but if a were equal to zero, then this would be a completely trivial solution because that would mean that the wave function, basically there's no particle. Okay, so that's the trivial solution. So we don't, uh, in a general way, we, we can't make a equal zero. And so sine of kl is equal to zero, okay? Which means that, um, that uh, the argument KL of the sine wave, kl, has to be equal to an integer multiple of pi because it's those integer multiples of pi where sine is equal to zero. Okay, so this the second boundary condition, okay, um, uh, the fact that the wave function has to be zero at x equals l gives us this um, uh, constraint and basically gives us these um, um, discrete values that, that k can take on. So k can only take on uh, values equal to n pi over l. And so this integer quantum number n arises from the boundary conditions as we've just seen, uh, the boundary conditions on the wave function. And again, so the allowed values of kn, um, so k becomes quantized, uh, the wave number becomes quantized. Remember, the wave number is related to the momentum, okay, so m, which is related to the energy, okay. And so uh, kn is equal to n pi over l, and that, as we wrote on the last view graph, is equal to 2 times n times e divided by h bar. Now we put a uh, subscript n on the energies to indicate that they're they're discrete, they're quantized, and they basically correspond to the quantum number n, which again is just an integer, as I wrote down here. Okay. So now if you saw if you solve this uh, this simple equation for the energy, we now get the uh, uh, we now get the uh, uh, the uh, quantized energies, the allowed energy levels, E sub n, at, that are a function of n and uh, and um, the mass and L and then some constants. Okay, so the the allowed energy levels are equal to n squared pi squared h bar squared divided by 2 m L squared. Remember, L is the size of your box. That's the um, uh, that's that's the uh, spatial extent of your of of your box and m is the mass of the particle that you put in there and n is just this integer again up here which uh, is the which is the quantum number okay and we can rewrite this if we like in this form um, by just substituting uh, h for h bar h over 2 pi and you get it in, in this form here so again these are the quantized energy levels of a particle in a one dimensional infinite square well or one or 1d box Right, so it turns out, um, and we'll ha we'll do this for uh, your homework that you can actually solve for these energies, uh, basically just in a classical way by uh, thinking about um, a waves on a string. For example, if we imagine like a guitar, the waves uh, the waves that are on the guitar strings, and the uh, boundary conditions that basically say that the wave on a on a on a guitar string has to be the amplitude has to be zero at either end of the string because it's pinned there. Um, then you can basically arrive at these um, same energy levels in a classical way.